Hello, everyone. My name is Hank, Assistant Manager of Strickland Propane. I went online and asked people to tell me which video game characters they want to see in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. In this video, I'll be letting y'all know what I thought of their suggestions. Sans Undertale. It's my understanding that this is a very popular character among the kids these days. Now I don't think this skeleton has a place next to a vampire killer like Simon Belmont and such, but I do think that given the popularity of Undertale, it is not implausible for him to be in the game. Furthermore, the game coming to the Nintendo console just makes it seem more likely. Shadow. Now, I'm not sure if you mean the Hedgehog or the Ninja from Final Fantasy VI, also known as Final Fantasy III, but either way, I'm sure you'll be satisfied one way or another. What with that Shadow the Hedgehog being an Echo Fighter of Sonic the Hedgehog. Just seems like a sure thing to me. But anyway, that's all I really have to say. I don't think it's a bad choice per se. It's not a tremendously difficult one to implement. They already had the model in the other game. And uh, I think people would like it. Hank Hill. Alright, now, what are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not suited for fighting in a video game. Now, don't get me wrong. If you give me attitude, or try to mess with me or my friends and family, I'm gonna kick your ass. But I'm not interested in entering some kind of weird tournament. At worst, there'll be highly flammable objects, including exploding boxes, and I've got bad experiences with that. Remember, always keep your propane tank sealed. Don't drag it. No matter what you do, carry it. That kind of crazy irresponsibility is exactly what blew up the Megalomart. Crash Bandicoot. If this was the 90s, which it's not, this would be unlikely. However, I don't think it's impossible, what with the whole conglomeration of different mascots for these games. You never really know anymore. I say it's possible, and I don't think it's terrible. I do think that the way that Crash Bandicoot spins around is very dangerous. Probably too dangerous for anyone's good, including his own. Either way, I say, let them crash. Booga Booga. Paper Mario. I think this is a very appropriate character, all things considered. The games are Nintendo. The mascot is Mario. He's two-dimensional, like Game & Watch. I think this is a pretty good fit. Nonetheless, there's no guarantee, especially with how the games have been lately, if I had to liken it to something from my own experience, I'd say, well, Paper Mario as a series has kind of been like using charcoal to cook your food. It leaves a bad taste in your mouth. At first it might seem good. In fact, it might even be great. For a short time. But after too long on that charcoal grill, your meat's gonna start tasting smoky and charcoal, and it's gonna just be completely ruined by the advent of whatever thing you did to it. Hades from Kid Icarus. I'm not gonna try to judge you for your taste, but I am gonna be a little curious as why you're into that demonic man of the underworld, particularly with his over-the-top flamboyant nature. Now, I get it. Maybe you think that's cool, but I don't think so. Heck, the guy's a giant anyway. He's too big for Smash Brothers, and before you try to tell me that didn't stop Ridley, this guy's bigger than the Rathalos. Yeah, the big Monster Hunter dragon thing. So I ain't never gonna see Hades in any Smash Brothers game, so help me. Unless he's in the background like some kind of assist trophy or stage hazard. Not that he isn't already a hazard for the youth. Fortnite. That's, that's not even a character. Well, I, I guess, I guess if you're playing as a, a custom character that you, you bought merchandise or whatever for, uh, you know, what's the deal with all that digital purchasing? Like, I don't understand why people are spending their real hard-earned dollars on things that aren't real. 
At least if you buy a game, you're buying something to interact with, not that video games aren't a waste of time anyway, but... But paying for cosmetics? <sighs> anyway, I sure hope not. Jumpman. Oh, everyone look over here, we got a comedian. A real funny guy. Everybody knows that Jumpman is Mario. You could argue, if you're some kind of game theory theorist, that he's not the same guy. But you can also run while my foot is chasing your ass. Jibanyan. Now, I live in the good old USA. But my brother, my half-brother, he lives in Japan. It's my understanding that these yokai watch are like Pokemon. That said, Jibanyan is like the Pikachu of yokai watch. For this reason, it makes a lot of sense to me for this character to have some kind of presence in Super Smash Bros. Whether or not that's a playable character remains to be seen, but I think Nintendo'd be remiss not to have something there for this very popular series. Tails. The sidekick. The Luigi to Sonic's Mario. I think that Tails is an interesting character, what with the very similar moveset to Sonic, but with his Tails, probably moves slower, jumps higher, and does a whole lot of interest in stuff like his up B would probably be like Olimar's Pikmin little thingy, but I don't know. I think, I think having, yeah, having shadows a sufficient assist trophy into a fighter, Tails would be cool if you like that sort of thing. I'm not particularly into it, but I suppose it's possible and not out of the question. Travis Touchdown. Now there's a ringer. I tell you, this Travis guy, I think he's got something going on. Back in the Super Smash Brothers brawl days, many years ago, gosh, I'm, I'm getting old, they done delayed Super Smash Brothers brawl. Now that was bad, but then this guy, Suda51, had a game called No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle coming out. Now, what he did was it earlier in the year, rather than the original release date, Suda51 pushed his game to the market. Why? So the Nintendo Wii would have a really good piece of software for people to buy. Now you might be curious as to why I know this. Well, I had to do a case study for an interesting law trial I had to partake in. We're not going to talk about that, but what we are going to talk about is the special thanks of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, where the name Suda51 was present. Now, moving beyond that, there's a new No More Heroes game, even if it's not quite what we're used to, and that's a good sign, because if that's happening at the right time, then I think... After all these years, as if to say thank you for doing all that stuff for me back when Brawl was delayed, it would be great, and I mean awesome, to see Travis Touchdown in the game. Do I think it'll happen? If Sakurai is a man of integrity, then there shall be no more heroes. Dale Gribble. Now I don't know why You'd be asking for my neighbor Dale to be in your video game, but I can tell you if he found out about this request, he'd be pissed. Not pissed, paranoid. Dale would be wondering why you know his name and how he even got here on this anonymous mess. Wait, Dale, is that you self-posting? God dang it, Dale. Don't make me come over there and kick your ass. And don't think I don't know about your pocket sand. I've already seen that. I've seen your squirrel tactics. I'm not afraid of you. Now you stop shilling on my thread. Skull Kid. Now we've got here a degenerate from the forest. We're talking a creepy little kid with a mask. Now if you're a fan of Zelda and Majora's Mask and all that nonsense, then sure. Why not? We've already seen the moon as an assist trophy. Why not have the Skull Kid as a character? Well, therein lies the answer. That would probably be the ideal final smash short of turning into that Majora monster. 
I don't think Skull Kid's got a shot, but it's, it's at least marginally possible. Not that I think it's necessary either, but hey, we've seen stranger things happen. That concludes part one of this video. If you liked it, be sure to click like and stay tuned for part two. If you want to hear more from me, there are some other videos here on the channel as well. And if you like the content in general, go ahead and click subscribe and turn on that little notification bell. It's like a warning that tells you, hey, there's a new video. You should watch it. Anyway, my name's Hank Hill, and I hope to see you next time. Remember, cooking with charcoal is the same as hunting down a fake smash ball. Sure, it looks like it'll get the job done, but it won't. <laughs>